Hey guys, what have we got here? Hi Michael, we're gonna stencil a tattoo on my racket. Seriously? That's awesome. Hi, I'm Luke and this is my friend Taylor. We're gonna show you how to tattoo your racket using cool stencils and ink from Racket Tats. Right up front, you have to be really careful with the ink. This is the same ink used by professional players all over the world, so it is specially designed to adhere to racket strings. Don't squeeze the bottle or mess with the applicator tip. The ingredients of the ink will damage wood and other surfaces, so have a cloth ready in case you spill any. Don't get the ink on your skin or face. If you do, make sure to wash off with soap and water right away. If you have dark colored strings, we recommend you use a lighter colored ink, such as white or silver. For natural or white colored strings, we recommend you use darker inks, such as blue or black. You can also use inks such as green and red. Avoid using multiple colors unless the design calls for it, like polka dots, for example. The first thing I do is pick a safe, ventilated working area with an old table nobody cares about, and I cover it with plastic like a large, outdoor garbage bag. I put some newspaper down to soak up the excess drip like this. Then I lay my racket on top of the newspaper. You can use any racket, tennis, squash, racquetball, or badminton. Just make sure you buy the right size stencil for your racket. Remove your vibration dampener first. You'll see a notch at the top and bottom of the stencil. This will help you to keep the stencil in place when you're applying the ink. Lay the stencil down on the racket and open the ink bottle. If you're going to tattoo a racket by yourself, you can use one or two of the small plastic clips included in your order to help keep the stencil in place. You can also find these clips at an office supply store. This is the part where it's cool to have a friend help keep the stencil in place while you apply the ink. You can do this yourself if you're careful. Just use one hand to secure the stencil and use the other hand to pick up the bottle and apply the ink. Blot and dab the ink straight up and down on all spaces of the stencil and make sure all spaces are lightly inked. Don't overdo it or saturate the strings. Once you are done, give it about three minutes to dry and make sure it is completely dry before doing anything else. Now that the first side is finished and it's dry, lift up the racket without flipping it over and place the stencil underneath the racket without flipping it over either. Place the stencil underneath the strings and flip over the racket and the stencil together, like this. Line up both the top and bottom notches with the same strings as you did before. This is important, so let me show it to you again. And then just repeat what you did on the first side. Make sure the stencil is lined up with a clip or with the help of a friend and add a little bit more ink. Since the ink may have bled through some, you don't need to add as much on the second side. Let the ink dry for a good three minutes and then lift up the stencil and then the racket. And there you go. Good job. Now you're really ready to play. Come on, Taylor. You serve. Hey, where are you going? I want one. 